hi guys how are you today so just a quick video about my cranberry hibiscus and how i collect the flowers the blossoms so there is a little trick about it and if you don't know it yet so just stay with me and i show you the, the leaves and the flowers are edible you can use the leaves I dry them as a tea as well as the, the flowers and you can both also use for stir fry or like a, a salad addition mixed salad addition so yeah everyone loves rosellas even the bees they love it too so very happy about it actually all my rosellas are self-seeded and you can see lots of buds and flowers and just about opening I just harvested some flowers from here so you don't see many yet but look at there so really lots and lots of flowers still to come the rosellas the bushes are about about two and a half up to three meters now already and yeah all self-seeded um when the winter comes well our subtropical winter they're losing some leaves i just chop them and leave them and use them as a mulch the um yeah the bushes the branches and everything and of course there are always some seeds which um, regrow the bushes regrow again in in spring so it's a really great and easy way to grow it and so yeah i still got some here to harvest look how beautiful they are most of the or many people even don't know that the cranberry hibiscus is an edible um, bush but anyway, back to topic. So, if you harvest the rosellas, you have to harvest them, the, uh, sorry, the flowers, you have to harvest them as long as they are open. So, because if you wait and they close on the next day, you get, sorry, and they fall down, obviously. You get this and they don't dry anymore so good. Oh, like here, you can see. So, and they are really like uh, wet inside. probably from the mo uh, morning to something so they close they fall down and yeah and that's it and you cannot really use them and dry them so yeah they will stay here as a additional mulch <laughs> but that's what I do Native bee here wanting to get some of the nectar. Anyway, I show you. So when I cut the flowers, I cut the flower and just tuck. That's it. Oh, maybe I can show you a bee. Plenty of the yeah, the girl is coming. Yes, she's here. So yeah, the bees love it. And this is awesome because 
this plant grows so easy nothing easier than the cranberry hibiscus I think it's self-seeded grows quickly doesn't need water doesn't need much water I never I'm never watering it actually and yeah and it's good for everyone and yeah I'm going to show you I grabbed the flower oh sorry bee <laughs> well we have to share they will have enough the bees I've got plenty of these bushes so they won't get short I collect what I up to one meter high and they can have the rest <laughs> okay so these are the blossoms and they just need few days for drying or well, you just put them into the hydrator and that's pretty much it and you've got beautiful tea strong like you just need only few of these blossoms and you have beautiful tea Hope you can see yeah. okay so yeah that's about it about cranberry hibiscus so this is for me is a must to have in a garden it looks beautiful as well I have it around the house and yeah it's just everywhere so yeah I hope you liked the video if you did Please put a thumb up for me, subscribe to my channel, share with others if you think that they might like it as well. And I hope to see you next time.